Good evening everyone, it's Wednesday again, and welcome to Hunger Night. Let me read to you this verse. Yahweh, our sovereign God, your glory streams from the heavens above, filling the earth with the majesty of your name. People everywhere see your splendor. You have built a stronghold by the songs of children. Strength rises up with the chorus of infants. This kind of praise has power to shut Satan's mouth. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. Psalms 8 verses 1 to 2 in the Passion Translation. Now, let us join our praise and worship team as they lead us in worship. I've tried so hard to see it. Took me so long to believe it. You choose someone like me To carry your victory Perfection could never earn it You give what we don't deserve it And you take the broken things And raise them to glory champion giants fall when you stand undefeated every battle you won I am who you say I am you crown me with confidence I'm seated in the heavenly place undefeated with the one Now I can finally see it You're teaching me how to receive it So let all the striving cease This is my victory You are my champion Giants fall when you stand undefeated Every battle you won I am who you say I am You crown me You crown me with confidence I am seated In the heavenly place I'm defeated With the one who has conquered it all It can never change that will be our position in the Lord. Amen. He has called us and He has anointed us to just declare His glory. Amen. Amen. And that is our position in Christ. For we are seated with Christ far above every principality's powers and rulers. Amen. So, nasa ang kaaway, He's underneath our feet. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. Every wall 
Devils come crashing down. I have the authority. Jesus has given me. When I open up my mouth, miracles, signs, and wonders will break out. I have the authority. in the shower. Everyone comes crashing down. I have the authority. Come on, church. Let us lift up our voice and let's declare. Hey, when I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority. Undefeated, every battle you won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place. Undefeated with the one who has conquered it all. When I lift my voice in shout, every walls comes crashing down. I have the authority. Jesus has given me. When I open up my mouth, come on, prophesy. Every battle you won, I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence, I'm seated in the heavenly place, undefeated. For the one who has conquered it all, you are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won, I am who you say I am. Crown me with confidence, I am seated in the heavenly 
place I'm defeated with the one who has conquered it all. For our announcements, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang ating online hunger night every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Healing is yours online every Friday at 8 p.m. On Sundays, we have our on-site worship service at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. at Back to the Bible in West Av, Quezon City. We also have online Batang CSB every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Just visit the CSB's Facebook page or Batang CSB page. For the youth, you are invited to join the Upper Room Fellowship every Sunday at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. For the couples, you are invited to join the Online Revival Group every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. We are also inviting everyone to like, follow, and share One Billion Souls Facebook page and Instagram page at One Billion Souls PH to know more about Jesus and grow your relationship with Him. This coming Saturday, August 6, at 9 a.m. to 12 noon, we are inviting you to join First Steps Training at Back to the Bible Building. This is in line with our going and stopping for the one. It is good to learn how to disciple them, how to be equipped, and continue your walk with God. Let us now proceed to our tithes and offering. Bank details will be flashed on your screen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that we received from you. Lord, I pray that our tithes and offering will give you glory and honor. We claim your word, O God. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak heavenly provisions and open heavens, O God, to everyone. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now for the word, let us all welcome Pastor Hiram Pangilinan. Maraming salamat. Hello, dear people. Good evening. Welcome to our Hunger Night. At ngagpapatuloy po tayo for tonight sa ating bagong series, The Eight Essential Qualities of a Healthy Church. Naalala po ninyo, we started with this last week at ako excited na i-share ito sa inyo. Siguro po more than a decade ago, yeah, definitely more than a decade ago, pinag-aralan po natin ito, the eight essential qualities of a healthy church. At ito po originally, nang galing ito sa turo ni Christian Schwartz at naituro din ito ni Kuya Dave White sa atin bilang isang church. And this comes from the story of Jesus in Mark in chapter 4, verses 26 to 29. Babasahin ko po sa inyo. Ang sabi rito, He also said, of course this is Jesus, no? Jesus also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground, night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. Ang galing po ng linyang yon yung huli. The harvest has come. Tayong lahat sa CSB, of course, we want the harvest to come. Kaya nga ang ating uh, theme sa ating anniversary, it's harvest time because we truly want the harvest to come. Pero ang tanong nito, how does the harvest come? It comes with a healthy church. Kung healthy po ang church natin, magkakaroon ng great harvest. Kung hindi po healthy ang church natin, maski anong gawin natin na paghahayo, pag evangelize pag-win ng souls, if we cannot maintain them by being healthy, sayang lang yung lahat ng naipanalo natin. And so here, ang kwento po ni Jesus, sabi rito, meron daw nag-scatter ng seeds sa ground. And that is what we're doing. We're scattering seeds by sharing the gospel. We're scattering seeds by sharing sure ka na ba everywhere. Nakakatawa nga po yung kwento sa akin ni Pastor Fini noon tong Sunday, yung mga youth natin sa kanilang fellowship. 
they did not just fellowship, they went out. Naglabasan po sila at marami kung saan saan nagpunta. The streets, they went to the streets. Meron pa nga po tayo ibang mga kabataan, sumakay daw ng carousel, yung bus sa EDSA. And there they got to preach the gospel and many people believed in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah! So ito pong part na ito na man, a man scatters seed, we are doing this right now. We are scattering seed everywhere. Kung sino-sino na mga tao ang nasishare natin. Ito man ay mga friends, ito man ay total strangers, ito man ay office mates. We are sharing the gospel to them. Pero ito ang tanong eh. After scattering the seed, it says here, night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts. Yun eh. The seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how, all by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. All by itself, yung po yun eh, all by itself, tumutubo po itong seed na naitanim natin. And the question is, why is it that the seed continues to grow? The answer, because it's a healthy soil. And the church must be healthy. CSB must be healthy. Ang kausap ko po ngayon, hindi lang CSB Mother Church, kundi pati ang ating mga daughter churches, ang ating mga pastors, ang ating mga ministers, members, everybody must be healthy so that we can produce the harvest. Amen? So last week, sinimula na po natin to. The first essential quality of a healthy church is enabling leadership. Ibig po sabihin, kapag ka-healthy ang church, yung leadership po, ang bawat mga member, ini-encourage niya, ini-equip niya, that yes, you can do it, yes, you can do it. Hindi po insecure ang leadership na sasabihin, pastor lang ang pwedeng gumawa niyan, o yung leadership lang ang pwedeng gumawa niyan, at kayo na mga members, dyan lang kayo, wag kayong kikilos, hindi, ninyo, hindi kayo pwedeng mag-evangelize, hindi kayo po pwedeng mag-share ng gospel, hindi kayo po pwedeng magkaroon ng role sa church, that is not correct. A healthy church enables the people. Amen? At yung mga leaders po ang gumagawa nito. And the verse that I shared with you last week, you remember? Ephesians 4, 11, 12, that God gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers to equip the believers, equip the saints for the works of the ministry. So, ang bawat isang member po natin, kayo, tayong lahat, ang gumagawa ng ministry. And that is what we're seeing right now. Mga members, nag evangelize Mga members, they're praying for each other. Mga members, they're healing the sick. Mga members, they're casting demons out, doing deliverance, and just advancing the kingdom. Amen? For tonight, let's move to the second essential quality of a healthy church, and that is gift-based ministry. Gift-based ministry. Ano ibig sabihin ng pastor? Well, simply put, ganito lang po yan. Na kung ano ang mga giftings ng bawat isang member has to be tapped. Kung anong gifting ninyo, it has to be tapped. Ma 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 magamit for the ministry. Kasi kaya po tayo binigyan ni God ng giftings is so that it will be used. It is not just for personal benefit. It's for the benefit of everybody. Para po yan sa buong body of Christ. Para po yan sa mga tao sa labas. The reason why God gave you that gifting is so that you can be a blessing. Ika nga, blessed to be a blessing. So, here are a couple of verses. Unahin natin. Romans chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. Alright? 
Romans 12, 6 to 8. Allow me to read this to you from the NIV 1984 edition. Kasi may gusto akong i-highlight dito. Alright? Uh, sabi rito ni Apostle Paul, We have different gifts according to the grace given us. So, different gifts daw ha? Bawat isa sa atin. Everybody say, I am gifted. Alright? Tandaan niyo po yan na bawat isa sa atin may iba't ibang mga gifts. So, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Ito po na sa Romans 12. Isa lang ito sa three major sections of scripture na nagdi-discuss ng mga spiritual gifts. Ano yung tatlong yan? Unahin natin yung Romans 12. Yan po yung binasa ko. Romans 12, 6 to 8. Sa mga nagtitake down notes po, ah, ito yan. Romans 12, 6 to 8. 1 Peter 4, 10 to 11. Okay? And then you also have um, 1 Corinthians 12, 7 to 10. Dagdagan ko pa, gawin natin apat. Ephesians 4, 11. Alright? So yung tatlo po na listahan na yon, may kanika niya yan. It's, um, uh, these are passages that discuss the different gifts, ang dami-dami pong gifts na nakasulat sa Bible. Kaya wala sa atin na makakapagsabi, Pastor, ako wala akong gift, wala akong gift. That's not correct. Meron kang gift. Magugulat ka. Ang akala ng iba kasi, eh Pastor, hindi naman ako magaling sa teaching. Hindi naman ako evangelist. Hindi naman ako apostle. Wala akong gift. That's not correct. Pastor, hindi naman ako nag-speak in tongues pa hanggang ngayon. Wala akong gift. That's not correct. Meron kang gift. Halimbawa lang, itong binasa ko rito. Tingnan ninyo ha. Serving. Can you serve? If you can serve, you have the gift of serving. Encouraging. Can you encourage? Pati ba yun, Pastor? Gift yun? Yes. Ito nakasulat dito eh. If it is showing mercy. Can you show mercy? Pagka, uy, pwede ako ron. See? Bawat isa po sa atin may mga gifts. Now, what I want to highlight here, yung sinabi sa Romans 12, paulit-ulit. Sabi rito, ulitin ko ha, If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. Nakita ba ninyo, hina-highlight ko na ito sa pagsasalita, ano ang naging paulit-ulit dito? Yes, let him, let him, let him. Sinasabi po ng Biblia, kung may gift kayo, we must let you use that gift. Kasi, Pag hindi namin kayo pinayagan at hindi namin kayo pinahintulutan, sayang ang gift. For example, you are gifted in serving others. Tapos sabihin namin, bawal ka mag-serve. Sayang. Everybody say, sayang. For example, you can teach. Tapos sabi, hindi, bawal ka magturo. Sayang. Halimbawa po, ako, ako. I started when I was a young Christian. Siyempre, bagong born again ako, nag-aapoy ako. I wanted to share Jesus with everybody. So, itong ginagawa natin sa church, yung one-on-one -on -one evangelism, sharing the gospel, may bibigyan ako ng gospel tracts, and then share Jesus with that person. I did that early on. Nag-share na ako ng gospel to everybody. Pero ito po yan eh. One-on-one -on -one yun. I was not doing Bible study teaching. I was not. Natatakot ako ron. Kaya minsan, may lumapit sa akin, sabi, Mau, yung po nickname ko. Mau, pwede ka ba magturo ng Bible study sa bahay namin? 
anong nandun? Eh, di ba by, by, Bible study? Sabi ko, naku, sorry, hindi ako marunong ng Bible study. Sabi niya, eh, narinig ko, nagsishare ka ng gospel eh. Oo, nagsishare ako ng gospel. Eh, sabi niya, para ding pagsishare yun. Yun nga lang, hindi one-on-one. Ang kaharap mo, grupo. Ganun ba yun? Oo. Sige na, magturo ka ng Bible study doon sa bahay namin. And you know what? Kinabahan ako syempre. <laughs> May daga, tug-tug-tug-tug. Hindi ko alam ito kung paano to Pero Lord, sige po, para sa'yo. Nagturo ako ng Bible study sa bahay nila. Guess what? Na bless po yung mga tao. At sabi ko, pwede pala magturo ng Bible study. Now, next thing that happened to me, niyaya naman ako sa youth fellowship. At sabi, Mau, mag, ano ka naman, mag-speak sa youth fellowship. Anong speak? Sabi ko, ikaw yung mag-share ng word. Ikaw yung mag-sermon. Sabi ko, youth fellowship. Eh, ang alam ko po yung youth fellowship noon, mga parang 30, 40 people. Sabi ko, hala, nakakatakot na yan. Sabi ko, hindi ko kaya yan. Sabi sa akin, kaya mo yan. Nakakapagturo ka ng Bible study. Kaya mo mag- mag-preach. Kaya mo mag-share ng-, ng word sa youth fellowship. Well, got the long story short. I shared the gospel and they were blessed. Ito yun eh. I would not have known na pwede pala ako sa teaching kung hindi ako nag-teach. Nakukuha nyo? Hanggat hindi natin sinusubukan, hindi natin malalaman, gift ko pala ito. Parang ganito. Sino sa inyo gusto na mayroon na mahil kapag ka ikaw nag-pray sa may sakit? ba diba? Tayong lahat yan. Gusto natin yan. Pero how would you know that you have the gift of healing? Unless you go ahead and pray for somebody who's sick. Ngayon, eh pastor, yung una ko pinag-pray, hindi naman gumaling. O yung pangalawa, hindi gumaling. Yung pangatlo, hindi gumaling. Pangapat, hindi gumaling. You remember yung testimony po ni Pastor Millard, ganyan. Nakaisa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, umabot na siya na sampu. Lahat ng kanyang pinag-pray, hindi gumagaling. <laughs> hindi gumagaling. Pero ito yun eh. You just do it, just do it, Lord, para sa iyo ito. And then on the eleventh time, yung pinagpray niya ay gumaling. Hallelujah! At pagkatapos doon, tuloy-tuloy na yung mga pinagpray niya gumagaling. The idea is you just do it. And then if you find out, ay parang hindi yata ako effective, eh baka nga hindi. Halimbawa lang, yung gift of encouraging. Pag ikaw ba nag Nag, uh, nagpapayo sa isang tao na encourage ba o na discourage <laughs> So, malalaman mo yan kung ikaw ay effective. So, andar po tayo. Ang isang church ay healthy kung yung mga gifts ng bawat isang miyembro ay ating matatap, ay ating magagamit sa loob ng church. Another verse, 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4:10 to 11. Okay? Uh, sabi po rito, Each of you should use. Oy, wow. Everybody say, should use. Ano sa Tagalog yon? Dapat gamitin. Alright? Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. See? Pagkaro tayo binigyan ni God ng gift, use it. Should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So, if you are gifted, you discovered your gift. Ano sabi rito? Use it. Everybody say, I will use it. Type ninyo dyan, I will use it. Importante po yan. If CSB will be a healthy church, each one of us must be using the gift that God has given to us. So, uh, Pastor, ano-ano po yung mga gifts na yan? 
I hopefully one of these days gawin uli natin yung discovering your spiritual gifts, no? Nakakatuwa po yung youth natin na nakita ko minsan si Pastor Fini, he was teaching yung kanya pong mga youth in the 11 AM group, no, about the the spiritual gifts that they have. Nakakatuwa lang dahil na pagka nakita natin ang bawat isa sa atin ay hindi tambay. Everybody say, bawal ang tambay. <laughs> Pag hindi po tayo tambay, magagamit tayo ni Lord. And so, I will share with you right now the three musts. The three musts concerning gifts. The first must is, members must know the different gifts available to the body. Members must know the different gifts available to the body. Kasi po, ganito eh. Kung hindi mo alam kung ano-ano yung mga gifts, baka gifted ka na nga, you're already moving in it, na hindi mo pa alam, gift na pala yun. Nakukuha nyo? Like kanina po, I discussed with you, yun palang gift of serving is a gift, or serving is a gift. And so, probably somebody who's watching right now, sinasabi, Ako, wala akong, wala akong gift. Hindi ako magagamit ni Lord just sa CSB. But just now, when I told you, ang serving is a gift and you love to serve. Wow! So, you just discovered you are gifted. So, members must know the different gifts available to the body. Again, uulitin ko rito ha, yung iba't ibang passages kung saan nakasulat ang gifts sa Bible. Taas nga natin, kamay natin. Taas natin. Sabihin mo ito, ako, si, state your name, ay nangangako, babasahin ko ito. Alright? Write this down, ha? Write this down. Somebody sa comment section, write this down. Ito yung mga passages kung saan nakasulat ang iba't ibang gifts. Una, 1 Corinthians 12, 7-10. to 1 Corinthians 12, 7-10. to Next, Romans 12, 6-8. to Romans 12, 6-8. to And then Ephesians 4, 11. Ephesians 4, 11. And then 1 Peter 4, 10 to 11. 1 Peter 4, 10 to 11. Makikita nyo rito sa mga listahan na ito, ang dami-dami po pala ng gifts. The Pentecostals and the Charismatics, ang naka-highlight po sa kanila, yung listahan na nandito sa 1 Corinthians 12, 7-10. to Let me read it to you, ha? As sabi rito, Now, to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom, on tawag nila, word of wisdom. To another, the message of knowledge, or ang tawag nila, word of knowledge. By means of the same Spirit to another, faith, the gift of faith. By the same Spirit to another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers, it in gift of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. So, itong listahan na ito, yun yun, speaking in tongues, interpretation, prophecy, discerning spirits, faith, healing, miracles, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, yun po yun. Doon nakatutok ang mga Pentecostals at ang mga Charismatics. Pero, what many fail to see is that that's not the only list. Hindi lang pala 1 Corinthians 12. Meron ding Romans 12 kung saan ando yung giving, ando yung serving, ando yung administrating. Lahat po yun, gift pa rin yun. Ando yung encouraging. And then of course, Ephesians 4.11, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Ang daming gifts. Kaya every one of us must know that there are different gifts. The second must for all members. And of course, kung kayo po hindi CSB, welcome na welcome kayo. Discover your gift as well. Alamin ninyo para po doon sa church where you go to, magagamit din kayo ni Lord. Amen? Pangalawang must. The second must. Members must be helped to identify their gifts. 
members must be helped to identify their gifts. Dapat madiscover niyo yan. How? Well, sa CSB po, we are using discovering your spiritual gifts. Ito po ay 125 questions na na-formulate nito si Peter Wagner. Peter Wagner is a leader in the charismatic movement at dito po sa questions na ito, magsasurface ano yung malamang na gifts ninyo. All right? And finally, the third must is that members must match their gifts with ministries. Importante yon. Members must match their gifts with ministries. Hindi po pwede may gift ka, ayaw mo naman mag-minister. Sayang. Halimbawa po sa church, bigyan ko kayo ilang example. Meron po tayo ng mga kapatid, halimbawa, they just love to serve. They love to serve. They welcome people, they lead people to their seats, o dito po pwede kayo maupo, nang we-welcome sila. Anong palagay ninyo, anong gift yan? Yes, that's the gift of serving. So, sila po ngayon, kagaya nila Ate Eli, sila Kuya Irwin, sila Ann, sila Ann, no? They love to serve. So, nalaman kung ano yung kanilang gift, binigyan sila ng ministry. Or, for example, nandyan din po halimbawa, yung sila Ate Isa, Ate Roslyn, um, Victoria, an anong ginagawa? They love to pray. And they love to pray for people. So, that's their gift. Bigyan sila ng ministry. And that's the ministry of praying. Kaya towards the end of the worship service, napansin niyo po, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., people can come to the front, approach any one of them, and they will be prayed for. Bakit? Kasi meron itong gift of intercession and they love praying for other people. Nakukuha ninyo? Of course, there are people who love to, kunyari, may gift of giving. May ganun ba, Pastor? Yes, meron pong ganun. They are just so generous. Sometimes even beyond their own capacity, they just love to give. So, gift of giving. And tell you what, kaya po ang church nagpapatuloy, lumalago at lumalagan na pang gawain natin ay dahil marami tayong mga tao who have the gift of giving. And many, many other gifts. Ang importante that the gifts will match a ministry. The moment you discover what your gifts are, yung gifts na yan will be turned into ministry and that is what makes the church a healthy church. Amen? You learned something tonight? So everybody say, I am gifted. Ito pa. I will use my gifts to minister. Amen? Sige po, mag-pray tayo. Lord, marami po salamat again that we learned something about being a healthy church. Lord, gusto namin ang CSB maging healthy church. Gusto namin ang bawat isa sa amin makapag-contribute sa health ng Church So Blessed. And so right now, I pray for every brother, every sister of mine na nanonood, particularly those who are of the CSB family. Oh Lord, allow that the giftings that we have will not be stagnant. Panginoon, naalala ko po ngayon yung parable of the talents. Yung isa, inilibing lang niya yung mga talent niya. Nilibing niya yung gifts. But Lord, you called for an accounting. Sabi ninyo, nasan yung binigay ko? Ayaw po namin na ililibing namin ito. Oh Lord, we pray, magamit namin ito for your glory and honor. Help us to be faithful stewards of the gifts you have given to us. In Jesus' name. Pwede ba taas lang natin dalawang kamay natin kay Lord? Sabihin natin to Lord Jesus, thank you for the gifts. Help me to discover them. And once I discover them, give me the right ministry to use my gifts for your glory and honor and for the health of the church. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen.
Hallelujah. Were you blessed? Well, if you've been blessed, ito po ah, ngayon ko lang yata sasabihin to, why don't you press that like button? Gawin yung heart. na <laughs> Like or love and then share. Of course, make a comment that you have been blessed. God bless you everyone. I'll see you on Friday for our Healing is Yours online. And I'll see you Sunday for our Sunday worship service, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on site and 11 a.m. online. At back to the Bible, building West Avenue right across SM North Edsa. God bless you.